We said that Gauss theorem simply states that the total flux that is passing normally through any closed surface, whatever its shape, is always equal to Q over E. That's the flux we're talking about. It states that the total flux passing normally through any closed surface, whatever its shape, is always equal to Q over E, where Q is the total charge and E is the permittivity. Now, we can express Gauss theorem in terms of surface charge density. This is Gauss theorem. We can also express it in terms of surface charge density. How? We know that flux is, is equivalent to the intensity of the field multiplied that by the area through which the field is going. This area has to be normal to the field. And uh, if the area is not normal to the field, then we're supposed to resolve the field to the normal or to the perpendicular line that is going through the area like we earlier described so flux is the intensity times the area and that is going to be equal to the charge times divide that by the permittivity now dividing area on both sides so that we have the intensity on one side we have a coming down here but then we know that the charge per unit area is what we know as charge density denoted by that so in simple terms this intensity can also be equal to charge density divide that by permittivity now finding the expression whereby you are having intensity is equal to charge density divide that by permittivity this is actually coming from Gauss theorem capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor now, for us to get the expression for the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor, we are going to get that from Gauss theorem. And from Gauss theorem, it's where we get this expression that E is going to be equal to the charge density, divide that by the permittivity. But we know, uh, but surface charge, but surface, uh, but surface charge, de but the surface, which is the charge density, or we know that the charge density, which is this, this is surface charge density. But we know that the surface density or the charge density on the surface of these plates is equivalent to the charge on those plates, which is Q, divide that by the area, as shown here. The surface charge density is equal to Q over the area. So we, we substitute this in that expression. So when we substitute this here, it means that our value of E is still going to be Q over A, which is that one, the surface charge density, divide that by the permittivity of the field, which is that. So we'll end up with our expression for intensity E, which is going to be equal to Q, which is the charge on either plate, divide that by the permittivity times the area on the, the, the surface area of the plates. But since we're dealing with parallel plate capacitors, we know that the intensity of two parallel plate capacitors E is equivalent to the PD between the plates over their separation, V over D. So we are supposed to substitute for the value of E, we put V over D. Because this is how, this is the expression for intensity. This is the expression for the intensity of the field between two parallel plates. And we also know that for capacitors, the amount of charge that is residing between two capacitors is equivalent to the product of the capacitance Multiply that by the potential difference between the two capacitors. So Q is equal to CV, we substitute it there. So when we substitute this here and this one there, we end up with an expression that has gotten C in it. So substituting gas gives us an expression with C in it. And when we mix it, the subject of the formula, we come up with C being equal to permittivity times the uh, cross-sectional area divide that by the distance of separation between the two plates and this is the formula or the expression we use when we are trying to find the permittivity when we are trying to find the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching for more of these videos simply subscribe to, your, to this channel otherwise for the benefit of your colleagues out there that would like to watch this tutorial I would encourage you to share the video otherwise. Thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next video. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anul Dranga Kronio.